Hello, welcome to Tanya's Tea Time. I'm Tanya and let's just get into it. This is for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs in Sagittarius. Hope everybody is doing well. well not all the cards, please. <laughs> it is almost October. Sorry for my hat, you guys. It's windy here in germany like it is so windy like so windy it almost knocked my hat off so we're not even trying to do the hair today okay let me sort these really quick if you don't mind give me one second So first card I have for you, Sagittarius, is the Seven of Pentacles. Um, this is looking at what you have planted, the seeds that you've sown. Um, this is some sort of investment that you've put a lot of hard work into, um, a lot of energy into. You see this man looks a little tired <laughs> after he's planted his harvest for so long and he's kind of looking at what he has there but it's um knowing that your hard work is about to come to fruition you're about to cultivate uh what you've been working on and to be patient because this is coming very soon it's like right before the rose like opens up or now that we're in fall, you see these beautiful sunflowers. Yeah, they're they're almost at their peak to where we can start taking the seeds out, you know. Um, this is uh, definitely something that you've looked at um, for a long-term investment. You've been working on this for a while. I have the Queen of Cups as well. Um, this is like, um, she's compassionate. She's a, a mother type energy, um, emotionally stable, nurturing. Um, this is leading with your head and not your heart. Um, or I should say the other way around. It's leading with your heart, not your head. <laughs> uh, more emotional side, not overly thinking. Um, not overly thinking about what you've done here because you've been definitely working on something and it's from the heart that you've been working on this. Whatever this is, this project, uh, this goal, um, this family situation, you've been working on it with your heart, not from the head. Page of Wands, um, inspiration, ideas uh, coming in, uh, the opportunity to see where it's going, but it's grounding these ideas. So these ideas come into fruition. Um, this is maybe digging deeper on a situation and it's also maybe your spirituality calling to you, your intuition um, asking you to maybe dig a little deeper spiritually if you are on your spiritual journey and concerned about your spirituality at this time. Everybody has a different story so you know how this applies. The magician, you have everything you need at this point. You have all the tools you need to bring about what it is you're trying to manifest. You're manifesting something with from the heart. Something with a lot of... Um, you're manifesting something with a lot of effort and time from the heart. And it does bring you the Ten of Pentacles. This is um, like security, uh, family, success in your journey. 
um, a promise that everything's going to come together. Um, this is successful. This is, can be financial security. If you've been working on some sort of idea um, that you're hoping that will bring you some sort of financial stability. You have everything you need. You you don't need anything else. And you you have the power to bring this about. Let me clarify really quick the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. It's Page of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Cups. Um, your creative opportunities, your intuition's calling you. You might have to listen to your intuition. You might have a new idea or op opportunity that comes out of the blue like this fish. You didn't expect this fish to come out of the cup. And it just comes out of the blue and you're like, wow. And you run with it. Um, but it's bringing you lots of success. It's having to trust that you know the right thing to do in this moment, it's gonna bring you a lot of success. The wheel is turning in your favor, especially with this card here. I mean, what else do you want? You got a, you got all good signs here. I think maybe you were maybe getting in your head a little bit, maybe because it's been so long that you've been working on this. This is okay, winner. These things gonna like pop up. I've sown the seeds. Where are the plants um, or where are the vegetables or <laughs> however you want to uh, look at it, but it's here. And because you've done it with your heart and because you've grounded yourself and you've been really um, taking the time to accumulate your resources and your power to bring it about, you're bringing it about with success. This is new success. This is success that maybe you feel like is gonna come out of the blue, but it hasn't. It's not coming out of the blue because you've you've been working on it for a while. And maybe you're feeling like it's gonna be coming out of the blue because it's been so long. It's It's been long for you. <laughs> Bottom of the deck two, uh, four of wands. So, yeah, this like happy, happy life card, this celebration, um, this is celebration with friends and family. Um, I think you got a lot of success coming in. I don't think it could be any clearer at this, at this time. Um, I'll pull an um, oracle card for you. You got all the tools you need. You've, you know... You know what, 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 you know what to do. You've been working on this. And actually, you don't really have to do anything. That's the thing. You, you, you kind of just have to just wait a little bit and it's there. You know how like sometimes the roses um, are closed, yeah? And it looks like it's about to open, but it's not quite open. You're like, oh, come on. I want to see how beautiful this rose is. You've been, you've been pruning this bush forever. And then all of a sudden overnight, bam, there it is. And it's in full bloom. That's what I feel like is coming. I keep getting this. Um, I keep seeing roses. I know that might be um, some sort of message for somebody out there. Um... Okay, I have shine light like a, a, a candle and choices. This is feeling blocked or restrained and then shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. I think maybe you felt like you were being blocked. Um, and I think you were looking for some sort of maybe new path, new idea, new choice. You don't have to. What you've been working on will be successful. It's like almost here. And I'm telling you right now, October is going to be bringing all of us like some really, really good positive changes. You just have to be open to it and be patient. I'm feeling like 
you have so much coming to you, so many beautiful things coming to you. Um, it's just a matter of a little bit of time. Just wait a little bit. That's how I, I keep hearing, just wait. It's coming. Or it's like the night before you're, you're about to maybe take a flight somewhere and you're so excited but maybe it gets delayed for some reason and you're like, oh, I was looking forward to going on that trip or I was looking forward to seeing this person. But then it comes out of the blue again, this opportunity again to do the same thing. It's like that. Again, I see roses. Somebody, somebody's gonna resonate with roses. Um, oh, and look, in your magician card too, there's roses there. This is you. You're bringing about something big. It is divinely being given to you. It's luck is on your side. Karma is on your side. Um, good manifestation is on your side. You are powerful. You will see this come and it'll come quick. It will. Bam. Be there. And it's all going to bring you just ha happiness, joy. So there's going to be celebration. So I can't wait for this to happen for you. It's going to bring about some sort of security for you, whether it be financial, mental, spiritually. Um, this is all good news. So definitely don't block yourself mentally. Don't feel like you're being restrained because it's all coming but it's in divine timing and the divine timing will feel like it comes overnight i hope this helps <laughs> and i wish you a wonderful rest of your september into october um this is for sagittarius uh sun moon rising and Venus signs for the end of September, the last week of September into the beginning of October, 2021. If you like um, tarot messages, and you wanna hear more and Oracle messages, um, please subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. Give me a like and um, I will see you on the next one. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your day or evening, wherever you are in the world. And thank you very much.